all men develop enlargement of their prostate as they get older, it's a natural part of ageing. In many cases the enlarged prostate causes urinary symptoms and depending on how bothersome those symptoms are or whether other problems develop like infections or stones in the bladder or incontinence, we'll then decide to treat the enlarged prostate. Certainly not all men need their prostate treated just because it's enlarged, but if it's causing bothersome symptoms, we would suggest something's done about it. There's a range of ways we can treat an enlarged prostate, medication, minimally invasive surgery and more traditional surgery. There are some herbal agents which have a very minor effect on the prostate and some men do get improvement with those. But for most men we would use a prescribed medication, either one that relaxed the prostate to open up the water tube to allow the urine flow to be freer, or a drug that shrinks the prostate, or sometimes indeed a combination of both drugs. The problem with those medications is they're only treating the problem, they're not fixing the problem, and they will have side effects, and some of those side effects include backward ejaculation, problems with libido, low blood pressure and other issues. Because of that, there have been some minimally invasive approaches developed. These are surgical approaches done as day case surgery in and out of hospital in the same day. And these are telescope procedures where under an anaesthetic, we look down the eye of the penis and we can do a number of simple things. The simplest of the procedures to help an enlarged prostate is called Eurolift. And that's a device that we use through a telescope through the eye of the penis and we put some little staples or tethers into the prostate to hold the prostate open. It's simple surgery takes less than 10 minutes and for men whose prostates are not particularly enlarged it can give excellent results. They go home from hospital the same day and they're usually noticing improvement within one to two weeks. Another simple minimally invasive procedure is called Regium which is a steam ablation of the prostate. Again we look with a telescope down the penis we put a little needle into the enlarged prostate, wherever we need to in the prostate, and we inject steam. The steam heats the prostate tissue enough that it damages and kills off that prostate tissue, and then the body reabsorbs the tissue so the prostate cavity opens up naturally as the damaged tissue shrinks. The great thing about Regume is it gives excellent results, but it takes longer to achieve those results because we need to wait for the prostate to naturally open up. Both Eurolift and Regume are excellent because they have very little chance of any sexual side effects. The standard, old-fashioned, if you like, treatment for an enlarged prostate is called a TURP, a transurethral resection of the prostate. Many men refer to it as a reball. What we do there is we actually cut the middle out of the prostate using an electrical instrument, or we can also use laser, typically what's called a green light laser. Both those are great operations to open up the prostate and they give excellent recovery of bladder function, but they can cause permanent backward ejaculation. Some men get a reduction in their erection strength and there can be some other side effects as well. That's why the minimally invasive approaches have been developed. They don't have the sexual side effects, but they give quite satisfactory improvement in bladder function for many men.